guys and welcome back to my channel if you are new here i'm yoni and i love making art in my own style on my channel i show you the complete process of creating my drawings and paintings talk about art supplies and share inspiration advice and tips with you if you love art like I do and want to have a good time creating together with me, subscribe to my channel and leave a like under this video. Thank you! So let's get started! Some time ago the Lightwish brand contacted me again for another collaboration and they offered me to test their new product. I didn't hesitate to say yes and look at what we are going to test in today's video. It's a set of 24 artist grade watercolor paints. Before I begin, you will see a card at the top of the screen with a link to review of another set of Lightwish watercolors, so if you haven't seen it, you should definitely do so. So let's get back to today's set. You know me well enough to know that it's not surprising that I start with admiring the beauty of the packaging. First of all, pastel purple is one of my favorite colors. Secondly, do you see the gold details? By the way, this aesthetic reminds me of the look of my second degree diploma thesis, which I'm still very proud of, so it's a really nice association. You will agree with me that the packaging looks very minimalist and luxurious from the outside, won't you? So let's take a look inside. I thought nothing could surprise me more, but oh my god, the whole watercolor palette was wrapped in a soft pastel pink towel. You don't know how much it pleased my eye. I know, I know, my reactions may seem exaggerated and excessive, but that's the kind of person I am. I get really excited about cute, beautiful little things, especially as I have never seen art supplies packaged so beautifully before. Admit it, it's gorgeous. Knowing me, I would buy these paints for the packaging itself, which is really cute and I think any artist would be happy with a gift like this for any occasion. Keep an eye out, because the George's packaging is one thing and the list of benefits of these watercolors is only going to grow. The watercolor palette has been designed with convenience in mind. It is very handy and portable, which is another feature that is a great advantage. There is a finger holder on the metal watercolor case, so we can hold the paints in our hands when painting in a the open air. This watercolor set is packaged in a portable travel case, so you can easily take your art supplies with you anywhere in the world. The compact design ensures that we have everything we need at hand. Whether we are painting at home like me, in the studio or outdoors. I've tried it out and the palette feels great in my hand. Maybe I should go outside and try it out? Let me know in the comments. The set also includes an elegant watercolor brush made from high quality synthetic squirrel hair, which absorbs water well and holds paint perfectly. The brush is quite chunky, but when I was doing color swatches, I found that it was very precise, so if you are careful, you can get the details right. The brush also comes back to its original shape nicely, and the hairs don't deform. I've never paid much attention to the brushes I use because I haven't noticed any difference between them when I've used them. Which really surprised me because this brush was just supposed to be a nice addition to a paint set, so I wasn't expecting this quality. It was also a positive surprise because, as the producer says, the brush absorbs water and holds paint very well, which makes it easier to control the application of the product and this definitely makes it stand out. The set contains 24 half pans of watercolor. 
on each of them there is a sticker with a printed visualization of the color, its number and a few other pieces of information. There are no prints on the cubes, so I decided to put these stickers on the bottom so that I could easily identify the color at any time. The packaging also includes a swatch card with a brief description of the colors, including information about the natural mineral color powders from Europe that have been used to create the colors. In addition to high color purity and a wide range of colors, artist grade watercolor paints often require consideration of warriors, painting styles and subject matter effects. Therefore, the selection process entails careful examination of each color powder's characteristics, including density, hardness, weight, acidity and alkalinity. We can also find information on the properties of the main ingredient in the paints, which is gum arabic. The manufacturer tells us that arabic gum boasts excellent transparency, viscosity, flowability, water solubility, resistance to oxidation and color fastness. These properties enable the pigments to achieve maximum saturation and ensure optimal preservation. Lightwish artist great watercolors undergo individualized grinding periods for color powders with different attributes, ranging from 4 to 8 weeks of expansion and settling. The grinding process continues until stability is achieved. That's all we can find on the back of a swatch card. I'm sure you've noticed the toothpaste I used to make the palette. You will ask, Yuni, but what are you doing? I found this trick on someone's YouTube channel and it's a total game changer for me. I squeeze out a small amount of toothpaste Take a paper towel, rub the paste onto the palette and collect the excess. This makes mixing the colors so much easier because they don't clump together in a little drop, they spread out and it's easier to see the true color. Can I use the word adhesion here? YouTube entertains and teaches, so if any of you can explain it better than me, let me know. After all, people learn all their lives. On this swatch card, next to the place where you can try the color, you will find a table with the name of the color, its number, the main ingredient, the color of the material, the degree of light fastness and the transparency. We have four different levels of transparency. Opaque, semi-opaque, semi-transparent and transparent. Lightwish watercolors boast superior transparency, allowing for effective layering and subtle color blending, adding depth and dimension to their work. The high transparency enhances the versatility of your techniques, whether you are aiming for delicate washes or intricate details. Most of the watercolors in this set are transparent, which is an indication of their high quality and I will explain why. The better the quality of the paint, the more transparent it is. This is because fever ingredients are used in the production of professional watercolors. You will find more fillers and less ground pigments in cheap hobby or student colors and they may be less translucent. It is also common for cheap paints to have a chalky finish when dry. Really, as you will see in the video, it's noticeable that their finish is so... I don't know what to call it because I am not a professional... metallic? They don't have a chalky finish, the colors are clean and evenly glossy. I obviously lack the words to describe it, but I am delighted. 
I've noticed that it's quite common these days for brands to include color swatches with their art sets, which I'm very happy about. However, this time I decided to make an extra color swatch because I was curious to see how the paints would behave on a different type of paper. And what can I say, I am delighted. Let's move on to the colors and my first impressions. The colors in this set have a unique range of bright vibrant shades. They are definitely eye-catching and full of vitality so they can bring any painting to life. No wonder I choose to paint the character of Mitsuri Kanroji from Kimetsu no Yaiba who has such a vibrant and colorful design. I thought that this character's design would be perfect for testing light wish watercolors. I would like to tell you a little story from my life because I still have it in my head and I don't necessarily remember it well, but it has to do with drawing fan art. When I was a kid, I spent a lot of time on the internet, posting my drawings and enjoying sharing my passion with others. I remember getting a new graphic tablet and my first drawing was a smiling Reimu Hakure from Toho. Excited to show off to my older friend, I sent her a drawing via messenger and was scolded for drawing characters I knew nothing about and shouldn't have drawn at all. Since then, I've rarely drawn fan art of characters I don't know and only wanted to draw because I liked their design. To be honest, I don't understand what the point of my fellow artist statement was. Isn't the job of an artist working on a commission just to see what they see or to give a brief description? Shouldn't the artist feel free to interpret everything in his or her own way, especially when it comes to a form as casual as fan art? I admit I haven't seen Kimetsu no Yaiba, but does that mean I can't make fan art of one of the characters from that anime? I knew my thoughts on this subject were funny, but after a dozen years I still have this if you haven't seen it, you don't know the character, then you can draw it thing going on in my head. Have you ever come across something like that? What do you think? I've rambled on again, let's get back to the review. Out of the 24 colors, 19 are single pigment hues, which means they are made from a single pigment source. This results in colors with higher purity, greater tonal flexibility, and superior light fastness. You can mix and layer these colors with precision, achieving a wide array of effects and maintaining the integrity of each shade. This allows for more accurate and controlled color usage in your artwork. What's more, the paints are non-toxic, making them safe for artists of all ages. The pigments are designed to be easily activated with a little water, making it easy to transfer the paint to the brush. This user-friendly feature ensures a smooth and enjoyable painting experience. The sketchbook I used in today's video is the third type of paper I have tested the paints on. The paints look beautiful on any paper, so they are definitely very versatile and work well with any type of paper. As you know, when I work in watercolor, I always use colored pencils. Well, that's true, but not this time. I only used colored pencils for the outlines. I've never had the experience of painting with watercolors so well that I didn't need to tone down the colors with crayons. This set of watercolors looks so good that I didn't feel the need to add anything else. One thing I noticed was the lack of white watercolor, which is definitely an advantage, so it could have been replaced with a more useful color. 
A lot of art brands include white watercolor in their sets, which just doesn't make sense. Watercolor is not an opaque paint and we don't need white to lighten a color, we just need to use more water. All in all, this set of watercolors jumps to the top of my list if you take into account all the aspects and benefits. They blend brilliantly, 24 colors is enough and each one is different and unique. By the way, my favorite is the indigo, it's George's. Ah, uh, it's also worth mentioning the price because it's very low compared to the quality and this set of colors is available for every budget. If you don't like mixing colors, the watercolors are also available in an extended set of 48 colors. I think I have interested you enough in this product, so if you are curious, in the description below this video you will find all the information you need, links and special discount codes, so be sure to check it out. I would like to thank the Lightwish brand for their trust and willingness to work with me again. It was a great pleasure to test your new product. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. See you soon, bye!